it's a 10 minute game took a while to get this seek grabbed Tempting, but no. I think I will wait. Coming here, let's just give a little touch here with the pawn. Looking for the quick and dirty, cheap stuff. Let's take it off the board, shall we? Hmm. <clears throat> That's a horse of a different colour, isn't it? I think we'll attack the bishop now, then. As soon as the queen's not supporting. As we know, they don't generally take with the bishops in these sort of circumstances. Bishop doesn't have any protection on. It's looking to open up space in front of our king, but maybe our queen gets there first. <clears throat> I think he's probably just going to jump in front here. And let's just grab, see what options he's got. Pawn takes, knight takes, queen comes across, putting a check on. Bishop takes the knight. Doubt that very much. takes back with the pawn just going to touch onto the king just to see what they want to do probably going to bring the bishop here because they look a little bit kind of risk averse especially when you see that they're not taking here it's getting a little bit arty keeping that tension type stuff Now it's blocking, but they kind of lose the pawn, but then they don't, because the thing is, our knight is not protected at the moment. So we could sit there and go, well, leave it, or we could bring the bishop here, attack, uh, defend him. So we could take the knight off the board, the pawn takes, queen takes. And the bishop can take because it's got some mind you we've got a check on the king so they have to do something about the check on the king first which would probably be that so i think it probably should work out for us unless of course they do something magical such as 
bishop putting a check on the king <clears throat> but we'll go with that I think that was just less less than four calculation won't it so I'm, I'm fairly happy we'll see how it lands if they take queen takes with a check on the king so they lose a bit of tempo maybe the bishop comes and defends and then at least we've got tempo to move the knight out of the way that was the general idea but it all depends on what the opponent does so I'm not going to calculate any further I just wait and see what they do so they do capture so we capture with the check like we said So the king's moved and it's blocked the queen from attacking, but it's also making access for the rook to come and put a check on our king. So it's probably safe to say we're probably going to go castle. Could have put a check on here, could have actually won the bishop there. We've lost that, that opportunity now because they're going to realize this and uh, move the king. Well, maybe not the king, but move the bishop out of the way. Well, they haven't done that, so we can go and do this. But the bishop can just go in front, so we haven't won the bishop, actually. Touch onto the king a little bit, maybe. And then the king has to go to the side, get the rook involved. Um, now it's got a fork on the rook, though, and it, and the queen. Mm, which one's best? Queen come in here with a check on the king. King can't come here. It can go there. That's all its base it can go. Then we put a check on with the rook. And then it escapes, doesn't it? Either to here or goes back here. Queen's here. I think we should just get the rook off the board, you know. I think that's probably better. Let's ooh, let's get the rook off the board. Because that's all dancey, but the king escapes. Even though it might be in a bad position, it still escapes. And I don't see a follow-on after that, so I'm just going to see if we can be up the exchange. Attacking our queen, so if our knight takes his queen, his rook takes our queen. That's a good shot, actually, isn't it? Knight takes, and then my knight can't escape, and oh, it can come here. Could keep the diagonal, just bring my queen down still protecting the knight from the king could attack the king but then he just takes the knight off the board hmm interesting time so I think I'm going to have to come back here aren't I then move the knight well obviously his queen's under threat so he's going to move his queen it's gonna move the, move it here with potential for attacking here, but he has to move his queen, so he's probably coming here himself, protecting the pawn. That was a nice shot. 
Interesting. Sometimes they can forget themselves when you're doing like a counter attack sack type thing. You're then still hunting the queen, forgetting that you've got a piece under attack as well. He's got all the um, tools, hasn't he? Interesting. Got a knight jumping here. Fork on the bishop and the queen. And bishop attacking his bishop, but that's not a very good situation. Doubles his pawns. Get the knight out of the way with a fork. Well, maybe not a fork, just attack the rook. Or might as well make some use of it, haven't we? And put a fork there. Let's um, grab here. And let's put the fork on. Take the bishop off. So we try to cause a bit of damage, doubling the pawns. Splitting his pawns here. Oh my. Okay, might be method in the madness. We'll take. This, this is what we're talking about. You know, when I mentioned about sometimes they forget about them, the pieces when they do like counter attacks type things. And they obviously didn't realize their rook was under the fork attack. But they might, maybe they like the bishops and the rook working together. It's not over. I need to get my rooks in the game. This pawn's got no protection on it. Um, it's kind of blocking the rook's passageway. I think I'm going to have to come here because he's going to be looking for the cheap shot here. So if I push this pawn up, his bishop could come here and put a check on the king. So I think I'll bring it here. I didn't really want to block the... Well, mind you, he's gone to the open file now. See if I can do a bit of a double whammy. Either way. With the x-ray through with the rook onto the king. Try not to be too arty though, because obviously they've got some serious cleverness. Did you, you know, with the rook move that they did, attacking the queen. So they know the system. So they're allowing us to go for the double whammy. Doesn't mean anything really. His rook can just come and protect, can it? Let's go here anyway. So we could probably just take the pawn as well. It's too much pressure. All right. Um, is there any magic? No. Nope. Just take. Actually, have to be um, a bit careful here because I 
that's okay because I was gonna go go here then he could have come down but he doesn't have anything support but if his king was here and then we took then he'd be able to take the rook but he's not done that anyway Coming for the pawn, probably try and come back and double on this uh, situation. Try slide up there. I've got a dart, dart square to go to for the king. Rooks don't have any place in the center of the board. Okay, what's this? Oh, his bishop's going to attack my rooks, and so my rooks not defending this pawn anymore. Ah, so you know what I'm going to have to keep it there but then it's just going to push the pawn down ok scary times scary times let's push this pawn and move the king to a dark square over here and let's take this bishop off the board are we causing ourselves a bit of problem I think they probably might resign now might they have sworn this was a zero increment thing it looked like their time was going up mm, looks like he's going to give up his rook do that because he's in check at the minute a bit unlucky on time there 